What is up you guys, Stacey Irvin Jr. out here at Muscle Beach in Miami. And today, I just wanna give you a quick overview, a little tutorial on how to progress to a planche, right? Now there's a lot of information out there, but basically what you need to understand is that it's a building process and it takes repetition and it will take time. So the moves I'll give you will all be key, essential in getting a planche, but remember, you have to take the time at each stage in order to build the strength for the next progression. So keep that in mind, work hard, and let's get into it. One of the most popular questions that I'm asked about attaining a planche is how long does it take? And quite frankly, it depends, right? It depends on how much effort you put forth, not just in your exercise, but in your diet. It depends upon your previous experience, your level that you're starting at, and really how much focused effort you're truly putting towards the goal. So it could take someone two months, it could take someone two years. It's really dependent upon how much you're going after it and how diligently you are putting towards putting the work towards the strength of it and the follow-up in your diet. So keep that in mind when you're doing this. You want your strength to weight ratio to be incredible, meaning that you have to be lightweight and still strong. So making sure you have a diet that's high in protein and sufficient in your carbs and fats to keep your energy right is going to be vital. But basically, it depends upon how much work you're willing to put in for it. So the first place you wanna start is on the parallel bars. Whether you wanna do a planche on the rings or on the parallel bars, the easiest place to start is on stationary bars that don't require you to keep them pulled in, okay? So the very first progression that you want is a support and being able to round the chest with that support. And from there, starting to tuck up into a tuck planche, right? So we need to be able to hold a support. We also need to be able to hold that support and start to round the shoulders through. So here is a basic support stance. I need to be able to develop the strength to push here so it starts that shift of going forward to put that fulcrum, that balance point in the shoulders. So you keep your core tight throughout and you just do a couple of these. And once you start to have that support with the rounded chest down, then we can move on to the next point. But you have to start with a simple support and lean. The next thing that we really need to develop and reinforce is core strength. Because when you're doing a planche, your core is loose, the whole thing falls apart. So. From the support, as you have developed this strength to begin to shift that weight onto your shoulders, we also need to be able to do a tuck hold, getting those knees up and being able to maintain that position. You also wanna progress that into an L-sit, being able to lift your legs straight out in front of you, and really, you wanna be able to hold. Because when you do a planche, you wanna be able to hold that position. So make sure that in addition to this lean, you're developing that core strength by getting these knee raises and these L-sit leg lifts so you can really solidify your core strength. So once you develop both the support and the core strength, the next thing you need to start doing is getting into that tuck planche because this is when it starts to transition into planche, more planche progression, right? So when you're on the bars, you have the core strength. You have the shoulder strength and stability to elevate your, uh, elevate your chest throughout, so you want to. Start by tucking up, leaning forward, and getting into that tuck planche. Hold that for a couple seconds, retract, get back, use that shoulder lean, use that core strength, and get back into that position. Getting those hips even with your shoulders would be best, but again, progress as you can. All right, so once you've gotten that tuck planche progression, you're able to hold it for about three to four seconds each time, maybe more. What you're gonna start doing is doing tuck planche straddle kickouts, okay? And you can lower all the way back down or stay in the tuck planche, but you wanna start getting used to getting into that straddle planche position, all right? So you have everything in order. We're able to do the tuck planche. Now we need to start kicking out, bringing it back in. Kick it out, bring it back in. Kick it out bring it back in. Now, if you're able to, when you do the kick out, hold it for one to two seconds, that's even better because it'll start to lean more towards getting that static planche. There you go for that one. All right, so once you've done the tuck planche kick outs to straddle, the next thing you wanna do is start trying to hold a static straddle planche. And you can either jump to that position to try and hold, or you can support and push into the position. It's really up to you. The tighter your entire body remains throughout the entire exercise, 
the better results you'll get because if you're weak at any point, that's gonna be a point in which your breakdown occurs, right? If I'm not tightening my legs, it's gonna be break down there and I'm not gonna be able to hold. If I'm tight, loose in my core, it's gonna be break down there, I won't be able to hold it, right? So make sure your body's totally tight throughout. One thing you can do too is set a band. I don't have anything above me here, but you can set up a band and put it around your waist, or put it around just above your knee to give you support into that position, even if you're low to the ground, you know? Tie the band to the bar, whatever. Put your legs in it so it has some upward resistance and it gives you a little bit of alleviation to hold the planche position. But this is the point after you've mastered all that, you're doing the tuck planche kickouts and the support where you want to start trying to hold static planche. We're just doing straddle here today, not doing straight planche, but it should go a little something like this, right? So I already have everything else down. Uh, I mean, we want to start maybe going from a jump to hold two to three seconds. So we'll go up. Gonna come back down you give yourself some time regenerate trust you're gonna want it because if you do too many in a row without a break you're gonna gash yourself so we have the jump up you can also again from support what do you want to do elbow hold you get into it you just want to start practicing that hold static positions are really tough because it requires your body to maintain that eccentric contraction for a long time so again be patient with yourself Take your time on each progression and you'll finally make your way up to holding a static straddle planche. Now look guys, I know that seems super simplistic, right, with those progressions, but trust me, it is all about the repetition and the development of hitting those positions consistently enough for your brain and body to connect in the proper position. So trust me when I tell you, you follow those progressions to where you're able to hold each position for three to five seconds before progressing and you're going to get your planche. Again, make sure you understand that it depends upon where your starting level is, your nutrition, how strong you are, how well you recover, how frequently you're doing it. But I guarantee you guys, these are the keys if you're trying to get a planche. So make sure that you're using these and make sure that you're following it up with proper nutrition and proper recovery. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If it helped you out, give it a thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe to the channel and turn on those post notifications so you know when we're coming back with a new video. Feel free to leave me some feedback in the comment section. I love hearing back from you guys. And as always, if you need supplements that I use, the ones that I trust, coaching from me directly guys all the links to that are in the description of this video so make sure to check it out it will only serve you i guarantee it will change your life if you allow it to but other than that guys i hope you enjoyed this wherever this video finds you i hope you have a phenomenal day work on that planche get after it this is stacy Irvin jr signing off y'all by the way